Hello again. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Here we go. More stranded. Made good progress the last time we were all together. Uh, we did uh, get the compound essentially complete. We started the deconstruction of the old one. And we've got some pretty good projects in the works. Uh, Connor's hurt from the last time we had a little scuffle. But uh, as we check things out here, we, we've got some pretty good storage space going. And we've managed to kind of isolate some stuff down. So we have some clothing slash fabric storage here. Electronics will go here. We're, we're a little short on them right now, but that's okay. Um, this is kind of, the rest of it is kind of just undetermined. We have the medical storage here. And the whole premise to this is once this guy gets up and running, we want to have, oh, well, <laughs> mistakes were made. Let's go ahead and just put that back down. They can get on that. Uh, the premise here is to make sure that we know what we have materialized so we can trade it uh, accordingly. Um, and the other cool thing we got going is we have the refrigerator going. So if look at the look at the temperature outdoors, 33. Temperature indoors, we are zero. And what does that do? Makes our grain frozen, which means its shelf life shelf life is indefinite. Therefore, we don't have to worry about that grain going bad. And that's going to ring true for. Cooked food, our prepared foods, and we're going to turn this shelf into our prepare, prepared food shelf. And I think what we wanted to do for this is, eh, I mean, it's whatever. We're going to have a lot of grain, which we should realistically turn that off. And turn that off. We're going to empty these out for now until we figure out what exactly we want to do with this here. Because we can preserve some of the grain. And I think one of the best ways to do this is let's go ahead. We'll move this bad boy back inside. We had one in here. We deconstructed it. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn everything off on this. And we're just going to make these our oil shelves. That's a lot for oil. So maybe for this we'll do this will be our ale, wine, moonshine. This will be kind of just some extra stuff here. Happiness. We'll call them the happiness items. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Everybody's kind of doing their thing. Connor needs to be treated. Go ahead, take care of him. You're you're the healing queen, so I'm gonna have you go take care of that. Yeah, get him fixed up. So our brick stockpile is continuing to grow too, which is good. Uh, when we decide to implement this second floor, that'll come in handy. If and when, if and when. We have other priorities right now. But we also want to turn raw food and cook food off of these guys. Everything else can kind of go there. We just don't want raw food or cooked food. doing 
Really? Does that mean our fridge is full? Nah, we still got we still got some space, right? It's a it's a lot. It is a lot. So that's going to be our little challenge we've got going on here. Uh, we'll also go ahead and turn off the medicines from that shelf. Medicines from that shelf. And it should move them over to there. Yeah, good enough. Electronics can go from there. We have a pretty substantial amount of these space coins, so that's good. That on salvage. Hope needs rest. Sentience evaluation. 50% target. Okay, we're halfway there. Evaluation. New behaviors are completed. Increase. My counter metrics have reached a level of complexity where I can no longer remain indefinitely awake. I require time to process new experiences and defrag my systems and something else. I am experimenting with dreams. Okay. Well, lucky for you, we've got a bed for you. We've got a bed for you. Let's go ahead and... Connor, are you going to knock that out for us? That would be great. That's pretty cool. Needs a place to sleep now. The meat printing is coming along. That is the other thing we didn't really talk about too much. We, we have meat printing. I don't know how this is going to go but what a fun thing to try <laughs> oh man um and you know what i think one of the other things for turn all this off fuel shelf we need a fuel shelf and that will be our fuel shelf Give us enough space to stack a lot of fuel. Alright, cool. Organization is slowly but surely coming along. Hope, you now have a bed. It's great. Great, great, great. Looking good. We are in a storage deficit for all of our grain which will go down to one important decision we don't have to harvest any grain right now we have six thousand of it so we're not even gonna bother not even going to bother and I think moving the heater will do us some justice. It's not going to heat extensively, but it'll be enough while we go through this. So we are consuming a good amount of power. We do have to keep that in mind. We're kind of at a a crux of limitations on that for for now. For now. We can print the meat. We can print the meat. All right, so how do we do that? How do we do that? I'm lad. I've beaten up our stuff. So 
That's going to consume 20. Which means we will need to find a way to up that. Um, you know what? I like these guys right here in the kitchen. We can print the meat in the kitchen. I think two would be good. So that's going to add 40 to our consumption. So we'll be over over limit at that point. So we're going to go ahead and just queue the rest of these up. We'll pause the construction on those. And are we producing the things we need to produce? I mean, we're we're struggling on that. So Research is done. I want you to go ahead. Start crafting. Oh, and you're doing good here. Emlyn Harvest Ranch plant. And craft when you're not doing anything else. We're kind of at a, a pinnacle where everybody's just going to have to start crafting. I don't believe our service bots can craft. Can they? Let's double check. Okay, they cannot craft, so that's what we need our people for. Probably wouldn't hurt to So we have a few more things to finish up construction wise, so that's good. We can mark them for destruction. Right? Yeah, let's just go ahead and destruct them. I think we'll keep six, seven, eight. I think that's good. And it produces a little bit, but it might not hurt to... Let's just drop two windmills in there, just to have that backup power. Now, in theory, everybody should be kind of chilling a little bit more now. I don't understand. Okay, we got problem there. We got a problem there. So we're going to need to figure out what we need still. Power cells and CPU cores. All right, we need a CPU core. Let's go ahead and have you knock that out. We gotta make sure Connor doesn't lose that rifle. That's important for our current state. Meteor rain, hopefully it doesn't hit the house, that would be terrible. Alright, hope's putting that together. So that should give us some Craft that up for us. 
put that bad boy together. Really should be knocking those bad boys out. We're gonna need metal alloys. And let's have... Get that up to 300. A shooting star. Go check it out, Han. That's for you, Connor. Laser Pistol 2.0, let's go. Break those bad boys down, put them on our shelf of goodies. And I believe we could stop harvesting our cotton blossom at this point as well. Got a lot of that. Sweet. Everybody's doing their thing. This we have to change over to only handle cooked meals. Everything else needs to go. So that's good. Now we're going to be able to put all of our cooked materials in here and they should hold indefinitely. Fuel off of that. We want fuel off of that. Right, because this is the only place that we wanted fuel to go. Fuel only. We've reached about the halfway point here, a little over. So we'll do our little plug like we always do. I hope everybody's having a great day. And uh, if you can do me a favor, hit that like, hit that comment, leave me a message, let me know what's going on there. Hit that subscribe. Subscribe is huge. We want people to know who we are. We want to grow. We want to be able to have a lot of reach. And that's where you guys come in. It's free. And it helps the channel out. It helps me out. So I'd appreciate that. I would appreciate that. We'll keep that for... We'll put a pair of weapons up there too. Why not? And tools. Why not? <clears throat> We just don't want food out there. We want all of our food to wind up in there. We're actually looking pretty good here. We have 20 first aid kits, but I don't know where the rest of them went. Where did they all go? over here.
like honestly with the amount of stuff we have we could probably bump this up so I don't even care let's do a thousand it's also gonna be a food source apparently so apparently we're gonna eat the fuel Chill on that. We could chill on that. We probably will need some sticks though. So are these big grass, broadleaf bush? Are right, you? Yeah, now we're gonna harvest those because the sticks are being really used up. Wow. It's all these furnaces. Okay. All good. Well, scavenge bot's doing work over here. These guys are doing pretty good. Hey, man. Hey, man. Chill out. <laughs> Chill out, dude. Oh, you know what? That's where all of our gear is going. I wasn't even paying attention. I forgot we had uh, little things in everybody's room. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, what can we do this for? Energy crystals. Energy crystals for our power cells. Alright, cool. Alright, let's check in on Hope. Hope is at 57, so she's doing good there. And while we're at it, just double check, make sure there's nothing that we really want to get done here. Silica gel plus. Woo. Let's go ahead and research that. And then we'll go into the software update. So these are for hope. And why not? We're just gonna really crack in the long the long train or the long research ones. And defense bots. And I think we also reached the point where we might as well just put one together. Right? Right? Why not? Connor, eat your bread and then uh, start chop chopping here. We're gonna put the we're gonna put the mech together. Build the mech, Connor. You've ate a tasty meal. I actually think we can... We can give them some... More relaxation time. Hope can get some too. And now she needs a sleeping schedule. She's going to fit in just like the rest of them. I like it. We did make a promise that once we got this kind of up and running, we would we would lighten their workload and try to make them a little more happy. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and do that. The other thing that we'll do is to break some of that cave dweller status we do need to add some flooring here so let's go ahead and do that it's 
Just a little design. Just a little design in there. Let's break it up a little bit. It doesn't look so... So icky. Doing good there. Crafting's looking good. Counter's just about done with our mech. Look at that thing. Pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat. There it is. Give me some alien vibes. All right. Looking snazzy. Let's check here. So our temperature's still doing good. Negative five, so our food is still indefinitely uh, taken care of. Uh, we can also go ahead and do a buttermelon pie. Let's just make ten of them. We could do the fruit flambe. We'll do six of those. Mushrooms. We'll do six of those. I like to do the steak. We need to start printing some meat, though. Do eight of those. So we're we're looking good. Um, did we say four veggie soups? Yeah. We're pretty much making everything that we can at this point. The sweet meat bites. We need syrup for that. Lots of grain to use, so we're gonna go ahead and distill our syrup. Go to see our guys are actually uh, starting to scavenge some more too, so we could salvage that, salvage that. We can get some of that debris out of here. We're just doing pretty good there. Now let's revisit these and see what we can get rid of. We'll keep the pulse rifle. You never know; it might come in handy. Crossbow can go. How much fine to have? Hope's doing phenomenal work over here. Melody's assembling. We did want to take a look here. Okay, so. Just so we have it, we also want to make sure that we're doing our veggie leather, right? Did we put veggie leather? We did. Beautiful. Alright, so... For when the winter time comes around... I want to make sure we have four coats. Four pairs of boots.
four beanie wigs. Four pairs of those. Do you want trousers? Four regular old t-shirts. And we'll do four sweaters. I think that's enough for now, right? Right, good enough. Just want to make sure that we have some sort of warmth for when the winter time comes. So, that would be good. Oh, look, I like everybody's just kind of hanging. This is good. This is good. Another little thing we could do. We have visitors. So the exciting thing about this is we got that mech now. So we know what that means. Connor, you, you beast. Well, you have the sniper rifle, so we're not gonna mess with that. I think we'll go ahead and. Okay, I guess you can't. Emily is gonna be our mech operator. Where are these guys at? Down by the old base. What do we got down here? Well, I think that's a good place to leave you guys hanging. We're going to send the mech out after these guys, but that will be next episode. So I thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate everybody who's given me support this far. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If you're a return, thank you. Thank you again. Do me a favor, hit that like, smash that subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking of the playthrough so far. And uh, when we come back, we'll check out what's going on with the mech. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. We'll see ya.